A ban on large sugary drinks in New York has been thrown out by a judge just a day before it was due to come into force. The proposal was aimed at tackling rising obesity in the city, but was challenged by the American Beverage Association and other business groups. The city of New York says that it will appeal against the ruling by the state's Supreme Justice. <laughs> It was a first-of-its-kind effort in the country to ban soda, sugary drinks, even some types of coffee beverages from being served in containers larger than 16 ounces. The idea was part of Mayor Michael Bloomberg's effort to fight obesity. But beverage companies, restaurants, movie theaters and others fought back against what they called a nanny state. They went to court and now a state Supreme Court judge invalidated the city's rules saying it is arbitrary and capricious because it applies to some, but not all, food establishments in the city. It excludes other beverages that have significantly higher concentrations of sugar sweeteners and or calories on suspect grounds. Lattes and other drinks that were at least half milk were not on the list. And supermarkets and convenience stores were also exempt. The American Beverage Association, for one, considered it a victory. The court ruling provides a sigh of relief to New Yorkers and thousands of small businesses in New York City that would have been harmed by this arbitrary and unpopular ban. We strongly believe that in the end, the courts will recognize the Board of Health's authority to regulate the sale of beverages that have virtually no nutritional value and which consumed in large quantities are leading to disease and death for thousands of people every year. The judge also said the ban would be hard to enforce because it only stops certain places from selling the big drinks. However, some retailers were prepared for a ban. It's going to cost a little bit more money. Of course, uh, juices are not uh, as cheap as sodas, but uh, uh, I think people will uh, uh, figure out the value they're getting. Even if the ban had received the go-ahead, people would still have been able to buy the large sodas at some outlets, such as supermarkets. The judge's decision is being appealed. The beverage industry said it would hurt business, and consumers said the city had no right to limit what they could drink. And in the end, the judge agreed. There's plenty of evidence of other states and countries thinking about how to regulate consumption. There's taxation. Um, it's happening in the United Kingdom, in um, France. So I think there are lots of different ways to approach this. Bloomberg has built a reputation on advocating for healthier legislation. He led the way on banning trans fats in restaurants. While large sugary drinks are still available in New York City, if Mayor Bloomberg has his way, it won't be for long.